Now, Alt Dolce is a luxury dessert. I don't know if I call it a chain because there's not loads of branches to it. But they also do sell savoury stuff as well. Now, when you go to the website, the website is just like screams luxury. There's a loyalty app. You can get branded merchandise. But is there a menu on there? I'm like, how can you have a website and there's no menu on there? So what I did is I put Oat Dolce menu in Google, in a Google search separately. And then I found a menu from 2022. Now, obviously, it's from 2022, so I don't know how accurate the menu is now. And the menu is just pages and pages and pages. No prices. I suppose that's maybe giving the whole world luxury thing. You know, if you need to know the price, can you really afford it? Though there is one page that has prices on it. But what I will say, I'm probably prejudging it. There's so many different variations. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I'm going to the branch at the O2 this morning. Um, so I'm quite interested to see see the menu in full. Um, well, the 2023 menu and see what it's actually like. So let's go for some luxury desserts. Okay, I'm back and it's so warm out there. So I had to pour myself a glass of rosé prosecco to cool me down. So the venue, it looks really nice from the outside, but that's because it's one of the newer venues. And inside is really nice, really modern. The menus are as complicated as the menu that I found online, but I kind of had an idea of what I wanted. The menus to me looked a bit grubby, um, but I, no, I know they're handled by lots of people, but anyway. So I decided to order the Spanish latte, iced Spanish latte, which was really nice in this long, tall glass. Really, really nice with those, served with those, hated hated paper straws and I know all establishments have to use paper straws but I ended up getting another straw because they just don't last at all um you know I know it's more envir environmentally friendly but plastic straws are so much better so much better the pistachio stack as you can see was really nicely presented on initial eating I got a tiny bit of an eggy taste and I was like oh no please don't let it be like those sort of souffle pancakes but that kind of dissipated quite quickly and they were really nice and I'm in my pistachio era at the moment anything pistachio I really like so it was yeah it was really really good the pancakes and the drink so the service I mean I was the only one in there because I got there just as it opened so I probably can't give an accurate um, review of the service because it was just me, but it was fine. You know, attentive but not too attentive. The price for both of these items was just £120. What I'm trying to do now is when I go out, I'm, my aim is to keep the budget of £20 and under. Just because of this whole cost of living thing, just because, like, you know, everyone's been, everyone's budget majority of people's budget is just being you know stretched and including mine so when I go out now I decided this a couple of weeks ago I'm keeping to a budget of 20 pounds and under there may be occasional times when I might splurge and go on a really luxury expensive afternoon tea but essentially it's not going to be like that so yeah um overall yeah I was quite surprised how good the food was, I went in there a bit cynical because I, did, I think sometimes when you see these things about luxury this and that and shiny website and all these incentives and I'm just like, well, what's the food really like? So the food was good. So I would go back here. But let me know in the comments if you've been to Old Dolce. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but that's how I'm saying it. And do you know of any other dessert? places that I can go to there's a couple that I want to go to there's one in Finsbury Park and there's a couple of other ones that are chains but if you know of any others let me know in the comments until next time Kate lovers